Well, it is being called an acute neurological illness. The sickness has affected at least eight kids in Washington state. One of them has died, but the cause of the illness is somewhat of a mystery. Two doctors joining me now is KTV medical expert, Dr. Larry Burchette, and a six-year-old uh, up there, Daniel Ramirez is a young man's name. He came to this, but there's seven other children that uh, are hospitalized right now. What, quickly explain what this, is that they're dealing with? First of all, I understand most of those kids have been released. So it's called acute flaccid myelitis. Myelitis refers to a disease of the spinal cord tract. Mm -hmm. So these kids present after they have kind of a normal cold, cough, runny nose, or flu-like illness, and then they get weakness, flaccid limp weakness in an arm or a leg. And, and the young boy that died actually was kind of paralyzed from the neck down. And the, uh, this is something that is very rare. What are the odds of getting this? But there's a cluster up in Seattle, so it's a bit of a mystery. Less than one in a million. It's extremely rare. But you're right. All of these cases together up in Washington make you wonder, what's connecting these dots? Uh, the CDC and state public health officials are studying this, getting all the information we can to try to figure that out. And the origin of this is believed to be uh, uh, basically tied to potential fecal matter getting into the system. Is that accurate? Or? Maybe. One of the suspicions is that it's related to an enterovirus. So we've seen this before in 2014, 120 cases uh, reported in this country less last year. This year we're a little less than 2014. And there was an association at that time with enteroviruses. This isn't proven, but an enterovirus, intro means intestinal. So yeah. fecal oral, those are transmitted basically by poo. So how Wash can you prevent hands, that? Yeah. Wash your hands. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, you were saying that, it, that this is a bit concerning, especially the cluster in that area. Is, is in what is being done to uh, study at this point? Who, who's the lead on this? Would it be the CDC? There's gonna be, that's a good question, I'm not exactly sure. So at the Children's Hospital, the state public health officials are certainly gonna be involved, and then the CDC is gonna come in also. A lot of information gathering at this point to, to try to connect the dots and answer these questions. What age group is at risk? So the disease is mainly under 21. Probably the average age is five, anywhere from six months to teenagers. Okay, and uh, so the, the, um, the, the advice that you have wash your hands but otherwise there's no there is no cure right so th at this Again, point it manifests itself and works itself through we're or? not exactly sure there's an association maybe with this polio like virus you can always wash your hands we always tell people to do that that's probably the best thing we can do to prevent that again it's pretty rare one in a million it's nothing i would freak out you know about but you know we do need to look into this outbreak and and yeah. figure it out. Something that we're looking at. All right, Dr. Larry Bouchette, appreciate it as always. Thanks, Sam. Thanks.